News at 6 starts now. Good evening, I'm Lauren Culver. And I'm Nicholas Pollock. Thank you for watching KX News. Leading local tonight, North Dakota is still feeling the effects of COVID-19 one year after the state's first case was found. Nikaya Carrero tells us about the roller coaster of a year it has been. It was one year ago that North Dakotans were going about their day-to-day -day routine when the first confirmed COVID-19 case hit the state. It's one of those things we didn't expect it to even come to America, right? When it first started over, over in Asia. I thought it'd be gone in six months, maybe seven. I, I really have, you know, was not expecting this long. The novel coronavirus, which started slow in North Dakota, but wound up infecting more than 100,000 and taking more than 1,400 lives. It's a lot different for me. I lost my mom back in September from COVID. So I uh, taken all the precautions I, I can take. And I know I'm not wearing a mask now, but um, I'm one of those that had infection and I can't get the shot yet until I get through that. The virus brought on a set of challenges like nobody had ever seen before. Hospitals filled with COVID patients reaching a statewide peak of 334 patients in mid-November and frontline staff felt the strain. Um, when we received our first case I came on the next morning and it came on the night shift and Staff was scrambling and we're like, are we doing the right things? Are we doing the right PPE? What are we doing? Um, so it was a definite challenge right away. We're like, okay, we got our first case. What are we going to do? And after that first case, it seemed that people were testing positive left and right, going from one case in one day to higher than 2,000. Renee Mock, the director of public health in Bismarck, was busy from the beginning. And we've been constantly changing from uh, one phase of response to another. So we were initially doing public education and contact tracing, um, testing then, and now we're doing vaccinating and definitely a much more positive time. Industries like tourism, beauty, and food were all heavily impacted. Marty Lee, the owner of Noodle Zip, says sales dropped by 35% at one point. In July, we had a positive COVID case in my restaurant and for precaution, we closed down um, and got everybody tested negative, luckily. But through it all, it was the community that helped Lee through the hardship and come out on top. Pouring in lots of love, lots of good messages. Waterhorn next door to us, the restaurant, they offered their uh, portion of their sales um, to us to compensate, you know, whatever the hardship that we're going through. Reporting for KX News in Bismarck, I'm Nakaya Carrero. And some of those you just heard from say, even with the pandemic still going on a whole year later, there is finally a light at the